body is not bad. The body is very, very good. Something that might be helpful for you to know about me is that learning about the neurobiology of the traumatic stress response has always done for me what mountains and sunsets and roller coasters have done for other people. It moves me in a way I wish you could know. <laughs> in particular, one of my favorite things to read and think about is something we call polyvagal theory that relates to the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve, if you're not familiar, is this information superhighway that connects our brain to our belly and all of the organs in between that helps us respond to danger. Without any mental effort, our vagus nerve coordinates a response to something, a threat, real, perceived, imaginary, remembered, and helps us stay surviving, helps us stay alive as long as possible. Now, what's really cool about the vagus nerve is that it responds in a stepwise fashion to when threat presents itself. First, the vagus nerve mobilizes something we call the social engagement system. That means that our bodies are wired to reach out and connect, to ask for help, to get support, and to say no, to set a boundary. Now, our bodies give us everything that we need to do that. All of the neurotransmitters, all of the energy, even the ability to hear changes in vocal tone and so much more. But if there's no one there, or if that response doesn't change anything, our vagus nerve mobilizes us into the fight or flight response. This helps us fight or get out of there. But if we can't do that, or we're sufficiently overwhelmed, our vagus nerve actually triggers something called the shutdown response. That's like our bodies being limp like prey in the jaws of a predator, because our system, having evolved the way it has to help us survive, knows that sometimes fighting back creates more danger. Again, none of this is conscious. All of it is our body, this intelligence in our system, helping us do whatever we need based on the specific situation to keep us safe. Interestingly, it's the vagus nerve that allows our lungs to know how to breathe. So for people who've been through trauma, the body is a very, very unsafe place to be. The body can be the place where the experience of the trauma happened and where the memory of the trauma is stored. But when a scary and overwhelming thing happens to us and we're confused by our reaction, Sometimes we can end up blaming our bodies for how we're reacting instead of blaming the awful thing that happened. In our culture that is bent on us using bodies to carry our brains around, sometimes we can miss the hidden wisdom written into our DNA. 